Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we're going to be talking about Michigan football recruiting and a recruit that may be committing to Michigan tomorrow on Saturday. He is set to make his decision. We're also going to be talking about more about recruiting. We're also going to be talking about some players on the team and some position battles going on with the team. So if you guys are new around here, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, let's get right into today's video. Alright, so we're going to start with Zach Marshall, and he is a three-star in both 24-7 sports composite rankings and 24-7 sports. On 24-7 sports composite rankings, he is ranked 684th nationally, number 60th athlete, because he's ranked as an athlete. Michigan is uh, recruiting him as a tight end, and he will be making his decision on August 13th, which is tomorrow on Saturday. Now, he did announce his final three uh, which was California, Michigan, and Utah. So right now, Michigan seems to be the huge favorite in his recruitment right now. He is from California, 6'4", 220 pounds. And right now, Michigan has four crystal ball predictions uh, going in their favor. And E.G. Holland also logged an on three prediction for Michigan to land him. So right now, it's looking like Michigan may be picking up a commitment tomorrow. We will see though. Michigan obviously already has one tight end in their class already for the 2023 class and that's four star uh, tight end Deacon Tonielli. He's a very talented tight end so Marshall would be the second tight end uh, in the 2023 class. Next, next guy I want to talk about is the 2024 four-star athlete King Joseph Edwards. He's from Georgia, goes to Bufford High School, 6'5", 242 pounds. Now on 24-7 sports, he is ranked number 12th nationally, number 4th athlete in the class, and number 4 uh, recruit out of Georgia. Now, the reason I brought him up is because he will be visiting Michigan during the Michigan vs. Michigan State game. So that's a huge one. Uh, now, a lot of people think he will probably just end up going to Georgia. He does have two crystal ball predictions going in Georgia's favor already, uh, but we will see. Next thing I want to talk about is actually Bruce Feldman's freaks list, which include four Michigan players, uh, including Mozzie Smith, as the number one freak on the freak list. Now with how big that is, Aiden Hutchinson last year was the number two on the list. So Michigan is no stranger uh, to having freaks on the freak list. And seeing Mozzie Smith at number one is definitely really, really huge. He's uh, looking really, really good and uh, seems like he might have a breakout season. So with that being said, though, Mozzie Smith comes at comes in at number one. Now, Feldman wrote, uh, the six foot three, three hundred thirty seven pound senior has rare power and agility. So rare, in fact, it's hard to find the right superlative to begin with. He also put that Smith does twenty two reps on the bench press, but it's with three hundred twenty five pounds on the rack. Not 225, 325 pounds and does 22 reps of it. That is just crazy. He also clocked a 4.41 shuttle time, which actually would have tied the best by any defensive tackle at this year's NFL scouting combine. And it would have been better than any defensive tackle weighing 310 pounds or more in the past decade. So the dude is a, is a actual freak. And I can't wait to see him on the field this season for Michigan. And coming in at number 7 is Edge Julius Welchuff. DJ Turner was asked what the most impressive thing he's ever seen Welchuff do. And uh, he said that it's an ankle mobility test that measures the flexibility in their lower legs. He said usually people get like 12 inches. Uh, he said that I was like 13 or 14. And he said he got 23 inches. Turner said stuff that he can do sometimes just doesn't make sense. Like what? How can he do that? And then coming in at number 31 on the list is cornerback uh, DJ Turner. Who we were obviously just talking about. Talking uh, about Welshiff. Now Feldman said that he's the fastest guy on the Wolverines. Having hit 23 points. 07 miles per hour on the GPS and ran a 4.2840 out of a two point stance, no less. And his three cone time is even more stunning, he said. Uh, he said he clocked a 6.29 this offseason, and U of M strength coaches think he has a good shot at besting the NFL combine record, which is a 6.28 set 
in 2018 by Oklahoma's Jordan Thomas. So that would be definitely very impressive. He already is very impressive, and I uh, can't wait to see him make plays on the defensive side this season. And then coming in at number 46, they obviously had to put him in there. Defensive tackle Kenneth Grant is just a beast. He's a freshman coming in. Uh, he was only ranked as a three-star recruit. I remember talking about him, saying how he was a big boy and how he could be you know, special because of his size. So, and at 6'4", 360 pounds, Feldman wrote, he said he ran a sub 540. Kenneth Grant is definitely going to be a beast here at Michigan. He is a, a very big guy, and running a 540 at that size is definitely very, very impressive. But uh, with that list, uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about one of the position battles going on right now. And uh, it is actually three... Michigan players uh, fighting for two starting safety jobs. Obviously, Brad Hawkins and Daxton Hill leaving Michigan uh, last season. Both can be hard to replace, but we got some guys, some very talented guys as well. And the two most recognizable names you guys probably know is junior RJ Moen and sophomore uh, Rod Moore. Now, Moten started five games and made 20, or 34 tackles, and Moore starting in four contests, contests himself uh, had 32 stops. Now, Moore missed the spring with a shoulder injury. He is 100% now, but with his absence, it actually allowed junior Mercari Page, who played just 68 defensive snaps last season, to you know get in the mix for the starting uh, safety job. So RJ Moten, Rod Moore, and Macari Page all fighting for two starting safety jobs right now. And uh, obviously looking at all the videos on Michigan Twitter, you guys can go and uh, find them. Love seeing those videos because you know uh, that it's just iron sharpening iron. And this team has big, big goals this upcoming season. And I think, you know, both the offense and the defense um, can have a breakout season. I think the defense may surprise a lot of people just because we lost so many starters, so much talent, but we have so much talent on the roster as well and actually quite a bit of experience because there were a lot of players that started uh, at some spots and then got taken out, but they also you know, filled in at times, so it's going to be fun this season. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys are as well. And with that being said, it's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. It's not a whole lot going on with Michigan football. Um, I hope that I will have a video out on Zach Marshall committing. There is a lot going on for me tomorrow, so we will see. But I'll definitely post about it for you guys if I can't make a video. Um, and if I can't make a video tomorrow, it'll probably be Sunday. Uh, just a video on him. But hopefully I can make one tomorrow. We'll see though. No promises. But other than that, hope you guys did enjoy. If did, please drop a like, subscribe for more. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.